Alright, I guess we're back. And we've uh, ran out all the turns, so let's see. Let's see what happens here. And let's see what we get in the graveyard slot machine, so. Alright. And Stone D has been promoted. Okie dokie. We'll take it. Alrighty. Well, out of all these cards, I should probably go for the Wasteland or uh, Invigoration, so let's see. Hmm, okay. Oh, almost got Invigoration. Got raised Body Heat, though. Uh, I guess we'll try for three in a row. Yeah. Where's raised Body Heat? There it is. It's actually right by Wasteland, so that's good. I'll try to hit it early. Oh, I actually got it in line. Okay. Where's Ray's Body Heat? Uh, where is it? I can't see it, actually. Mm. Ooh, I missed it by one. Again. Oh, man. I was close, though. I was close. Okay. Alrighty. And then, uh, as far as the regular events in this episode... Uh, yeah, sorry about the really short parts, guys, but, uh, um, yeah, like I explained in uh, the last episode, we had some stuff happen around here. Um, I may have time for, like, a quick win against Keith. Yeah, let's just, let's just go Keith, because we draw our water stuff. And by quick win, I mean, like, in eh, about, like, 20 minutes or so, you know. Yeah, I think I have time for like a 20 or 25 minute part, 30 minute part, definitely not, but uh, like a 15 to 20 minute part, that would be fun, so, okay, oh, main of the aqua, that's good, um, let's just, yeah, set our deck cleaver, and the turn, good start, good start, hmm, no power increase, okay, see what we get here. That's good. A lot of traps this episode. Um, let's just put this right here. He'll probably try to attack it. Uh, most of the time the AI does, but if he goes to the his right side, then we'll put a trap on the right side. We might want to send Mesmeric Control toward that one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Hologram. Okay. Yeah, that's not really too much to worry about. And no, your screen's not glitching. This is a uh, this is hologram. So. <laughs> yeah, only 1600. I mean, we could actually beat that with Akihiron right now. But uh, hmm, no, I think we'll get since we drew Stone D. And eh, should I Stone D first, or you know what? Yeah, let's Stone D first. Hmm. I wonder how much EXP Stone D got there. Oh, okay, just a uh, second lieutenant? That's still pretty good, though. So there we get Stone D. Right, and we're abbreviating the battles because... Time constraints. Uh, let's move over here, and I'll probably send Mesmeric Control toward... Uh, yeah, because he put uh, Conversion Factory on that card, so... All right, Keith. I wonder if he'll run over his own cards like he did uh, uh, a couple episodes ago. Furious Seeking. Yeah. Honestly, even with... Because, uh, let's see, first turn he played Hologra, so that's three stars. I mean, at the most, this thing could have four stars. Like, let's say he has Ground Attack or Bug Roth with the increase, right? I mean, that would still make him weaker than Furious Sea King after I turn the tide. So, I think Sea King will be able to hold his own over there. Uh, I guess we'll go over to the this way in case he decides to run this way with his deck leader. And we'll cut him off with uh, some of the traps. Yeah. Yeah, because we got Maiden of the Aqua, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, especially with that boost, we should be able to defeat whatever he... Uh, sends up north here. Oh, defense mode. Good, good. Okay. Uh, let's just... Yeah, this would get us over it for sure. 
but I don't even think I need the power up yet, so we'll wait till we get a couple more aquas out here. Oh, a magic card. What was that, Keith? Magic Jammer. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that is a good card to try to win from him. Um, I could also try to maximize the damage by switching to defense and then switching back to attack. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Alrighty. And my turn, Bandit Keith. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks like this will probably be the only duel for this episode. But, like, I, I felt really bad because, like... You know, I didn't expect that duel to go that way against Rex. Oh, it's Cyber Commander. Okay. Um, but yeah, I was just like, man, I, I, I kind of feel kind of bad if, like, all I do is just uh, cut in here and be like, hey, guys, this is the card we won, and, you know, any of the ranks we got, uh, see, you gotta go, you know. Uh, let's see what happens here. Giant Mech Soldier. Wow. You beat that card by 100 points. That's pretty lucky. Alright, Stone D, good job. And I guess we will... Uh, should I show this battle? Ah, okay, we can show one battle. Fury Seeking? Attack the Cyber Commander. You may actually try to want to win that card in the graveyard slots. Uh, Cyber Commander, it has a, uh, kind of like a Maiden of the Aqua effect, but for machines. But it doesn't boost them all by, uh... Uh, 500 points, it boosts all your machines by by, I think it's 300? You know what, we'll check after I send it to the graveyard here. But, uh, yeah, plus it's, like, low cost. You know, you can always fuse it with other stuff in your machine deck, so... Alright. Good job, King. <laughs> Yeah, let's actually check the, uh, how much it boosts. Cyber Commander. Yeah, only deck cost of 20. Uh, 300. Yeah, attack and defense. So, not bad, not bad. If you use its effect, you know, if you just summon it and stand alone and have it rush in like Keith did, eh, not so good, not so good. Um... Let's play... Let's just play this. Uh, I'm thinking next turn, I move a little closer and have, uh, have Mesmeric Control protect uh, Stone D here. That's probably a good call. Um, I could use this right now just to make sure he doesn't defeat Seeking. Ah, let's do it. It feels kind of like a waste, but at the same time, I don't want Keith to do anything crazy over on the, uh, since we got him pushed in the corner, so let's just do that in the turn. Protect the CQ. Yeah, run over your card, buddy. Okay. Let's go in with the monster there. That's fine. Uh, looks like we've got this one wrapped up, so let's, uh, oops, abbreviate. And we'll attack. Oh, a magic card, huh? Hmm. I mean, there's also a possibility we could run him out of turns, like we just did with, uh, uh, Bandit, uh, with, uh, with, with Bandit Q, with, uh, Rex. I mean, that is a possibility. Um, should I try for it? <laughs> yeah, and then just cut into the next episode? I mean... Honestly, I probably should, but, well, if it works, if we can get Keith not to play any cards, then, um, for the next episode I cut in, like, I'm just gonna show you guys, like, the graveyard slot machine, and that's gonna be it, so, because I don't have time for another, you know, uh, 15-minute episode, so let's see if we can get him to, oh, he's not playing any cards. Hmm, let's... Let me move this trap close to Stone D. Let's end the turn. Ooh, just like Rex, he's not playing any cards. Now we've got Stone D protected. Let's end the turn. Wow, is he really not gonna... He's not gonna do anything. He's still not gonna do anything. 
but this is honestly good for us. Like, <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I know I'm making like a lot of like cuts in between parts as far as episodes, but uh, honestly, running out the turns is really good because, uh, yeah, that'll give um, all the monsters we have on the field right now, like Sea King, Stone D, and especially our deck leader, our deck leader will get a lot of more experience. So, um, I can also like dump some cards and search for the other two Maiden of the Aqua, summon them, and then, yeah, that's honestly really good for us. Especially since I have only three monsters on the field. Okay, guys, well, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So, in the next episode, that's the plan. Um, yeah, just to, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a really, really short part. Well, also, next episode... Now that I think about it, we can reincarnate something. So, and I'll probably like save and try to reincarnate for like a really, 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 not like a really, really, really good card, but as long as we get at least one, you know, kind of, you know, card that's decent, you know. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. And then in the next episode, I'll cut back in. Uh, you guys will see you know, what all got what ranking, and then um, we'll do a, free, a few reincarnation attempts for uh, a card. So, if I'm right about that, that is, I may be wrong. We may be on the wrong number of duels for reincarnation. But, uh, yeah, I did not expect this duel to go this way, but it's very good. We got three in this recording session that went this way, so. Alright, guys, with that being said, I will see you all next time. Alrighty, have a good day. Bye.